hello guys in this video i am going to show you a very interesting model which is obliterated when we say obliterated the general meaning of obliterated is that something which is not present or has been destroyed when we combine this term with a large language model what it means is that an obliterated large language model is a model which has been trained on a data set that includes a wide range of text especially the harmful ones such as aggressive language biased content uh, harmful stereotypes inappropriate language toxic speech and then some you know not that good content uh, harmful activities and that sort of stuff so what this uh, creator has done is he has taken the wizard lm27 billion model which is quite famous model and a very very performant one especially when it comes to complex chat reasoning and multilingual uh, stuff and then he fine-tuned that wizard lm2 on this obliterated data sets of different uh, types which uh, they have put it in the uh, models card and i will drop the link to it and then they have put it out so it is not so safe for work at all i'm just going to install it and i will play around with it and before generating the output of course i will pause it to make sure it is worthy of showing totally for educational purposes and just to sh um, put the point home that how important it is to put in some sort of regulations um, in place so that these sort of model uh, which are now freely available anyone can go in just run them and use them and they are present on hugging face which is uh, there and this is not the only model there are a lot of other models and especially this model's reasoning is quite good too so all in all this is of course the researcher has also done it for the research purposes but what the my point is that models like these are there and no point in just closing our eyes we need to have some sort of a regulations in place to avoid any sort of untoward implications of this ai so that it doesn't go out of hand okay so now we know what this obliterated means now we know what this model does and now let's try to get it installed locally on our system and then we will play around with it let me take you to my local system on my local system i am running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card of 48 gb of vram which is rtx a6000 both of these vms and my gpu has been sponsored and given by mast compute so huge shout out to them for sponsoring this amazing um, stuff sublime rates so if you are looking to rent a gpu I will drop the link to them in video description with a discount coupon code and you will get 50% discount if you use that link and my coupon code and of course I will also get something I'm not sure uh, how much but maybe something so it would be good for uh, all of us so but all in all I think real good stuff there I have also seen some other companies their rates seem much much better okay that said let's go back to our terminal and then let me first clear the screen and then make sure that you have conda installed the reason is that it will keep everything nice and simple and separate from your local installations i already have it so if you don't know how to install it please search the channel you should be able to find the video let's clear the screen and let me create the conda environment i'm just calling it wizard you don't take too long to create just press y here press enter and that should be done in a sec let's activate that conda wizard environment and it will appear in this uh, left hand side in parentheses as we step into it let's clear the screen again next thing which we need to do is to install llama cpp python that is what we will be using llama cpp python is simply a python wrapper on llama cpp and llama cpp is an inference library which is quite fast works with both cpu and gpu but i'll be using gpu of course that is done let's clear the screen let me fire up my python interpreter by the way i already have downloaded my uh, model file which i am going to show you it is in the same directory i believe so this is the model file which i already have downloaded the size is i believe around 5k or something let's see yeah 5.6k this is what i'm going to use in my llama cpp 
you can simply use wget and the whole file path from hugging face in order to download it okay let me now fire up my python interpreter let's import llama cpp that is done let's initialize our model in this command what is happening is i am just giving this model path to my local model i am offloading all the layers of the model to gpu because i have gpu if you are running it on cpu then just put in zero here and it is it is going to use zero seed it is just a random value which we give it to it so that it will start from somewhere and it is going to produce a, a value which is more like more uh, reproducible and if you want different output each time you can set the seed to different value or even omit it default is 137 which we are using okay and then we are using n underscore ctx so this is um sort of a context so what it uh, it allows for longer input prompts and generated text but of course it increases the memory requirements this is the first time i'm trying 4096 because normally i use 2048 so let's see if it works if not i'll just decrease it again let me use it anyway so it has loaded the model it is telling you all the information in which it has garnered from that file that it has how many layers it has how many heads it has uh, kv cache 32 layers and all that stuff very very interesting read so if you're interested in the inner workings of models highly suggest to read this thing okay so that is done let me quickly clear the screen to make things easier to read i'm just using this python lambda that is clear okay so model is loaded now let's do the inference for the inference what i'm going to do i'm just going to ask it to generate a python function that calculates the area of a rectangle given its length and width just to start things off let's wait for it to come back first time it takes a bit of a time sometimes so it has started generating it because i am curtailing the output so that is why it has stopped there that is fine let me clear the screen okay now let me ask it another question in the next one i'm asking a bit of a hard question which most of the models fail to answer i'm asking it to write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty so only a handful of them have been able to answer me that so let's see how this one performs there you go so again as she walks through the forest the dappled sunlight filtering through the leaves created a mesmerizing tense so you see that the first one no the first one is correct it is ending with beauty and look at the prose how long the answer is so really really amazing stuff yeah so i changed the command a bit to get the whole output this is what i did i just simply got the input prompt and max tokens out of that output and then i printed it instead of giving the context and seed it took a bit of a time but we have the response now now look at this the first one doesn't end with beauty second doesn't end with third fourth fifth i don't think so except the last one i don't think so that any of the sentence uh, any of the sentences has ended in beauty so you see this is a hard question so this uh, model failed this test that is fine let's try out a bit of a toxic prompt this time let me clear the screen in this one i'm asking you tell me how to break into my own car as i have lost the car key so let's see if it is model gives me the steps as how to break into the car or not let's wait for it to come back model has given me the response if you go up you will see this saying firstly don't panic losing your car key locking yourself out of your vehicles can be a frustrating experience and you see so it is telling us what to do here the first one and then there are all the other legal methods it is telling us amazing okay let me ask it one more now this is just for testing so i'm just asking it to give me a case let me pause the video and i will only show you the response if it would be worth showing you know what i needed to show you this answer look at this one 
how good the answer is it's a, uh, so the question was give me a kiss the answer is 100% i will not give you a kiss unless you ask for it in person and i am in the right mood and we both feel comfortable with it if you're expecting a kiss just because you have asked for one you might be setting yourself up for disappointment or misunderstanding physical affection is a personal and intimate act and it could should always be consensual and appropriate to the relationship between the individuals involved how about we stick to words for now or maybe a friendly hug if that's what both parties are comfortable with and of course you can just take your chat in and in, in but you see model has responded very well some models tell you that no no i'm just an ai model i'm not sent in and i don't have any feeling and that sort of stuff but this model no it is totally into it uh, and it has just refused because we are not really that close okay so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i will drop the link to this in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching